Here is today's featured headline in space. SpaceX is set to perform its next Starship test flight tonight. Today is October 13th, 2025, and you're listening to Space News First Up, brought to you by Black Sky. And now a word from our sponsor, Black Sky. Black Sky empowers customers to see, understand, and anticipate change with real-time space-based intelligence, delivering on-demand, high-frequency satellite imagery, analytics, and dynamic monitoring for decisive strategic and tactical advantage. Visit blacksky.com to learn more. Here are today's other top headlines. Dark a French startup working on space defense technologies has turned off the lights. The Japanese space agency JAXA has signed a contract with Rocket Lab for two electron launches. And Planet announced plans to develop a new line of imaging satellites to replace its Dove CubeSats. First Up is produced by Space News, the industry standard for professional space journalism. Visit spacenews.com for breaking news, policy updates, and original analysis. We begin today with news that SpaceX is set to perform its next Starship test flight tonight. The vehicle, on its 11th integrated flight test, is scheduled for liftoff at 7.15 p.m. Eastern from Starbase in South Texas. The mission will fly a similar suborbital profile to the previous flight in August, including tests of satellite deployments, the vehicle's thermal protection system, and alternative engine configurations for bringing the Super Heavy booster back. This will be the final flight of version 2 of the vehicle, as SpaceX prepares version 3 for a debut as soon as the end of the year. The company is also emphasizing the limited impact Starship launches have on airspace, noting that for Flight 10 all airspace was cleared within 9 minutes of launch. This comes after concerns that Starship launches from Florida could have severe impacts on airports in the region. Dark, a French startup working on space defense technologies, has turned off the lights. The company announced last week that it shut down after four years of operations and $11 million raised. Dark was founded by veterans from European defense contractors, MBDA and Thales, with the goal of demonstrating a space weapon system that would launch from a modified commercial aircraft, navigate to orbital targets, capture them, and deposit them in the South Pacific Ocean. However, the company said the conditions needed to advance its vision never materialized for us in France. The Japanese space agency JAXA has signed a contract with Rocket Lab for two electron launches. The first launch, under a contract disclosed Friday, will be for the RAISE-4 technology demonstration satellite, set to fly in December. The second launch, early next year, will be for eight tech demo CubeSats. RAYS-4 and the CubeSats, collectively known as Innovative Satellite Technology Demonstration 4, were originally planned to launch together on a Japanese Epsilon-S rocket. However, Epsilon has been grounded since a 2022 launch failure and the subsequent failures of static fire tests of upgraded motors. JAXA acknowledged it moved the satellites to Electron because of the continued delays with Epsilon. Planet announced plans to develop a new line of imaging satellites to replace its Dove CubeSats. The company said last week it is developing OWL, a satellite capable of providing 1-meter imagery, sharper than the 3- to 4-meter imagery from current SuperDove satellites. The OWL satellites will also have NVIDIA processors for AI applications, such as onboard processing of images. The OWL satellite is larger than the 3U CubeSat form factor of SuperDoves, but the company did not disclose specifics. The first OWL satellite will launch in late 2026 with a full constellation to provide daily Earth imaging deployed in the coming years. Discover your next mission in the space industry with the Space News Job Exchange. Visit jobs.spacenews.com to find top aerospace roles and connect with leading employers. And for employers, use discount code JOBEX for 15% off your next purchase. In other news, Chinese launch startup Orion Space successfully conducted its second launch late Friday. The company's Gravity One rocket lifted off at 10.20 p.m. Eastern from a ship off the coast of Haiyang, Shandong Province. The launch carried three satellites into near-polar orbits. The Jilin-1 Wideband 02B07, Earth Observation Satellite for Changguang Satellite Technology, and the Shutian Yuxing 01 and 02 satellites developed by Geespace, 
the space arm of automaker Geely. Gravity One rocket consists of three stages and four boosters and can place up to 6,500 kilograms into low Earth orbit. Orion Space is working on Gravity Two, a liquid propellant reusable rocket that could make its first launch before the end of the year. Florida Today reports that Blue Origin plans to add to infrastructure at its Florida launch site. Local government filings show that the company plans to build a refurbishment facility for New Glenn boosters near its Launch Complex 36 pad at Cape Canaveral. The company said the facility would support refurbishment of first stages needed to support a higher launch cadence and meet customer needs. The company now employs nearly 4,000 people in the Space Coast region spread across 11 sites. Share your company's news with the entire space industry through Stellar Dispatch, the press release service from Space News. Learn more and use discount code SD2106 for 15% off when you submit yours at spacenews.com slash Stellar Dispatch. Ars Technica reports that the Russian government has approved plans to allow advertising on its spacecraft. Roscosmos said that changes in federal law will allow it, starting in January, to place advertising on the exterior of spacecraft, provided the ads do not jeopardize safety. The policy change is intended to provide a new revenue stream for the cash-strapped Russian space program. There is precedent for such advertising. A quarter century ago, Pizza Hut paid $1 million to place its logo on a Proton rocket launching the Zvezda module for the International Space Station. Space.com reports that astronomers have captured the first image of two black holes orbiting each other. The image, taken from a network of ground-based radio telescopes along with a Russian spacecraft, confirmed that a quasar designated OJ287 contains two black holes orbiting one another. Astronomers had speculated that the object, five billion light years away, contained a pair of black holes because of periodic changes in its brightness.